Hey guys, well guys, welcome back to another Car X Drift Racing video. And today in this video, we're finally doing it. We are going to buy the S15 or Spectre RS rear wheel drive bonus times five. One million three hundred thousand to buy. Ouch. We'll have a million left over, but that's all right. So let's go ahead and buy it. Yes, I want to unlock for 1,300,000. There we go. The man looks nice. Now let's go ahead and paint it. In the next episode, we shall go ahead and customize it. But they don't have a pink. I really wanted to paint it pink. Um, should we do it then? This looks pretty pink with blue on it. Um, Go for a white or just leave it black. Um, let's go for the pink. This one. Yeah, let's go for this one. Ninety dollar coins. You know, I was saving up for the Mustang Unicorn, but I guess that can wait because we need to paint it pretty. So there we go. Shout out to the auto car scene, there's a guy with a pink S15. And yeah, quite frankly I was not able to do a pink. But I guess that's alright, because it looks not so similar. But I guess it looks good. In the next episode, we shall buy the Drift Kit. 600,000. Yikes. But that's going to be for the next episode. So let's go ahead and drift. In later episodes, we will buy more maps. I really want to unlock Kami Road. It seems like a really fun one. It seems like one that we can drift in and make a drift montage. I guess I should make a drift montage one day. That's gonna be soon. So stay tuned for it. Let's go. Just gotta slow down a bit. Uh, yeah, it's terrible at stock. You see how it just straightens out? I wish it was better stock, but you know, I guess that's what most cars are like at stock. Feels like a boss right now, you can't even turn it. Ah. This is gonna be a terrible turn. Ready? Yeah, terrible turn. Okay. are so hard to control. I would literally have to hold the handbrake just to drift. Well, I guess it gets better once you customize it for the drift kit. Right? Uh, feels like a worse version of the... of the Chaser JZX. Except for the fact that the Chaser can drift. Well then, I guess we should just test its speed, because drifting is not going to go so well. Let's we'll see how fast it can go. Okay. Best time, let's try and make it to the best time. The stock one. 1 minute and 49 seconds. How do you expect me to do that with a car I just bought? I don't even know how it works yet. Okay. Oh, I have to hit the brakes for it. To make it true. Okay, that's interesting. Some cars actually have to use the brakes. You know that this one did. Maybe the RX-7 does too. <laughs> 40 kilometers, that's not too bad. With a inline 4. That's nice. Okay, just a little bit of a drift to get back in line. Hopefully we can actually manage to make it with this. Okay. 
Ooh, that was a miss. It's actually going terribly slow for a stock car. I'm pretty sure the RX-7 would go faster than this with stock. And I'm not sure if I actually messed up the clutch and transmission for the RX-7, but if I'm driving it, it won't even need to shift. Like, it'll go all the way to 10,000 revs, and it'll still keep gathering kilometers. If you guys know why that is, don't forget to comment down below and tell me why, because I think I might need to correct the clutch in the drift, in the ultimate mode, for that to work. Okay, so we'll be able to make it in silver. That's not too bad. And I guess that's going to wrap it up for this video. In the next episode, we will buy the drift kit, so stay tuned for that. I'm a Phoenix, I rise from the ashes. You guys be Phoenix, you guys rise from the ashes. See you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.